Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and kept the title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm going to show you this 2011 Suzuki Swift. It's got 95,000 kilometers on it, which is about 59,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get your sofa driver's licenses, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Swift is a five-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Now this one doesn't have the rain guards to show you. However, and always, you want to get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible during the, uh, the uh, season of heat, so to speak, all right? In addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover, or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and get yourself a nice size bath towel or beach towel and lay that across the top. This one also has the slots here that if you want to put roof racks or crossbars, very easy to do. All right, so with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this thing started. All right, key fob on your person, foot on a brake. It is a push start. I'm going to push that one time, and it goes. Let's sneak this in here. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right, 95,540 on the odometer. Uh, I'll show you a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do get tickets on and off break, uh, on and off base. So I saw that brake right there. I was ready to say brake. And this circular one is your brake, your emergency brake. Now this one actually says brake. Most of them do not. But this is a hand brake. So when you disengage it, it goes away. Pull it up again, engages, comes right back on. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over, find out what it is, take the immediate action, okay? Off the left here on top of the dash, you do have a little compartment for storage. Obviously, they have some other things in here I'll show you shortly. Your radio, little pocket underneath for storage, air conditioning controls, and a power outlet, okay? And then just a little tray for whatever you need it for, and a cup holder. Then you have your shifter, the handbrake, and another cup holder back here. Then you have your, whoa. All right, so you have your glove box, this guy hiding in here, this is your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Okay? And then a little bit of uh, storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down right now. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good right where I am. Uh, I feel like this is a selfish car because there's not a whole lot of space in the back, so at least for the driver, okay? But I can actually slide this up an inch, maybe two, and still be comfortable driving, all right? Uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. really can't see they pass the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Pull it back. Now, I like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. And some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So it's graded four from the auction with a B and C on the exterior and interior. So it's a really good grade, very clean car. That's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. And we'll also help you decipher it if need be. So let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat where all this wiring is going to. So it looks like it. Uh, this is going to this, uh, it looks like a... Um, Radar detector? Yeah, I'll eventually get it out. It looks like it's a radar detector. Okay, so they did all the wiring and 
you know, sometimes they do it themselves and it doesn't look all that good, but it's not, it's not, it's definitely not the worst one that I've seen. Okay. Um, on the right side here, the door. You do have a little slot here for a couple coins, and uh, this is for your um, your fog lights and just uh, hood release. And then please don't forget on the floor you have your gas cover release. On the door panel you have your mirror, door lock, and window controls right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. You're just going to push this one time, and it turns off. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. I always feel like I am. Come back here. All right. This is why I say it's a semi-selfish car. I'll still be able to get back here. But I'm about a half inch into the, the seat, okay? About a half inch. Um, that's why I say, you know, with... And it's still reclined a little bit more, but still, I'd be about a, a flush with the back of the seat. Uh, another as far as storage is um, driver's side, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And it does have a grocery bag hook. Up to three kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. Okay. And then a uh, cup holder on each door panel. And no center console or armrest back here. Back here. Show the engine compartment. Oops. Pushed the wrong one. Okay. Here's your uh, rear space. Looks like, I don't know what this is. Looks like it had an aftermarket system. I don't know if it's still in there. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It looks like some wipers and some other things. So we're going to keep that in there. Let the mechanics figure it out what it is. And then uh, this is your rear space. You do have a privacy cover that can come out if you have to haul stuff. Because by push, uh, pulling up on those levers, those will lay down uh, flat. Okay. Come to the front here. So the engine compartment. Going to wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. 1.2 liter engine, nice and clean. So there you go, 2011 Suzuki Swift. 95,000 kilometers on it, again, about 59,000 miles. Military price is down at 5,300. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,100. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,100 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best things since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program is all about and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. Dollars Cash out right. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.